Okay, so there's two critical things to monitor here while you fish are in the anaesthetic bath and in the recovery tub. Firstly, as fish are in the anaesthetic bath, they're actually absorbing some of the anaesthetic. So initially we put 5.5 mil. Now there would be less because some of these fish have absorbed that anaesthetic. So it's important to change this bath every hour. The other thing that's important to do is because so many fish have been through the recovery tub is to monitor the dissolved oxygen because the fish are using oxygen as they recover. So we'll use a, a multimeter to actually look at the different concentrations of dissolved oxygen as the fish are in there. Yeah, so this fish here is, it was in the anaesthetic for five minutes. It's only been in the recovery bath for two minutes and you can already see that the fish is actually showing signs of recovery. So the fish looks very still when it's asleep but it recovers very quickly and it's already starting to swim. In a few minutes time, that fish will be upright and ready to release back to the river or back into the tank, whichever you're using it for your particular experiment. We actually use a multi-probe water quality meter here. This is a Hariba model, but any, any probe which has a dissolved oxygen, pH and temperature sensor is fine. We place these into the water and we can actually use them to monitor the water quality of fish. Ideally, you would have this probe in here the entire time and you monitor the different levels of the water quality parameters as the fish are recovering. So you can see here that it's telling us that the dissolved oxygen is around about 8.7, which is not too bad for fish. When the dissolved oxygen gets below four, then we start to get worried because that's not enough oxygen to support the fish. If that happened, we'd either increase the aeration or just do a full water change just to make sure that the water's okay for the fish. But as the day progresses, you would notice that the dissolved oxygen goes down. So it's very important to monitor this so that the fish don't become stressed as they recover.